All right, here I made an electrical modification to my swivel sweeper, which I really like. It's quieter than a vacuum. It doesn't have the motor on it that blows air out. I've got mainly hardwood floors in my house. 90% is, is hardwood floors. And I hate the fact that my Dirt Devil vacuum has that exhaust vent out towards the front here, so it blows the dust bunnies and things like that up in the air before I can get close enough to suck them up. Sucks. So, this has been a lifesaver. I really love it. Um, I've read a lot of reviews where people think the battery life isn't that great. It's supposed to last like 45 minutes, and they get like 15, and that, since like I said, I've got a pretty big house with all hardwood floors. Um, the battery does run out um, before I'm ready to go, before I'm ready to finish. So, what I did is I added an AC adapter plug right here. This is to close up. I'm going to show you in a second how I did it. Um, so I added an AC adapter jack right there, and I've got the AC plugged in. Plug that in there, right there. So when the battery runs out, I can just turn it on and run off of the AC. And the AC cord, I made a very long extension on it, so it's just so I can go anywhere throughout the house. Um, this is the AC adapter I got for it. The, the voltage on the battery for this little is 7.2 volts. And it took me a while to figure out that it is uh, also 15 watts. It'll tell you up underneath the tray there on the bottom, it'll show you 15 watts, which basically is 2 amps, 2,000 milliamps. Um, so it took me a while. I had to get a, uh, this one's from Radio Shack. I actually got it on eBay because otherwise they're expensive. Um, but a 2 amp, and then it has a 3 to 7.5. So I've got a 7.5 volt. Um, if you're looking for a cheap AC adapter for this, if you want to do it yourself, PlayStation 1 has 7.5 or 7.2 volt AC adapter that is actually 2 amps. That's what you're looking for. That's probably your best bet, cheapest bet, because they run you maybe 10, 15 bucks or so if you get a good eBay option. Anyway, and so then I just took the cord and uh, I spliced it with uh, another cord, just some old AC adapter for an old laptop or something like that. Um, the tricky part, however, is to get one of these, uh, not these, this part, but the, the adapter part of it that you need to plug, that you need to create on this. Um, I happen to have, my friend had a lot of cool electronic stuff. This is an old network hub we weren't using anymore, so this plugged in right there. So I unsoldered it, ripped that off, opened this up. When you're opening it, there's two holes in here that have screws. Take those screws out. And there's a little tab right here that you kind of got to pull up because it's got a little pressure point in it. Once you do, you can slide this up. There's the button and stuff. You can slide that part down too if you like. And so I basically added in the cables and I soldered. Let's see if we can show them here inside. They're kind of way up there right now because they've been bunched up. But basically, I soldered them onto the back side of the two connector points, those two silver points on the inside, that's where the battery connects. So I soldered them to the back side of that, and then to the back, the other side of this switch right here, that socket. Um, so the tricky part for you is going to be finding some electronic equipment you're going to cannibalize to get this socket out of that fits whatever adapter you've got. Or you can buy one, I'd also go that route. I did all this stuff for basically free from old parts. Um, but then once you just soldered all that stuff in, then you can close it up, switch back in place, and you're ready to go. And like I say, make sure you get a 7.2 or 7.5 volt, 7.5 volt works as well, AC adapter, um, with 2 milliamps. That's the key right there, otherwise there's not enough thorough, fruit, thorough foot voltage to go through. So there you go. And uh, this is the Swiver Sweeper uh, touchless, the enhanced version, um, because then you can just unclip those and the tray opens. Um, another little nice touch is they put a rubber end on it so you can lean it against the wall and won't slide as opposed to the plastic end. Um, for those of you that are wondering, this is a clip-on. Before they didn't have one of those, now they've got a little clip-on case for the cleaner, so you can clean out your hair and whatnot from it. Nice touch. I like that. Um, overall, very good, and if you have a lot of hardwood floors, it, on carpet it's okay, but if you have a lot of hardwood floors, oh man, I love this thing so much more than a vacuum lugging it around. So, uh, and if when if you have bad battery problems, just like uh, I did, then just do some kit bashing and make yourself so when your battery runs out, you run it off the AC.
Oh yeah, time to go clean house.